Well, here with Graham Amerson, the head chef at the Globe Arena, who uh, you couldn't knock the smile off his face with a shovel at the moment because uh, he had some great news yesterday, Graham. Uh, and we'll, we'll get to the get that get to that in a minute. Uh, but where did you go yesterday? Tell us where you went yesterday. We went to the home of the pot pie. We went to Melton Mowbray for the British Pie Awards. They announced all the winners yesterday. How did you get invited down there? Um, you put your pies in, you, you submit your pies for entry, and then they're put in front of lots of judges. It's all blind judged as well, so they just go onto a white plate and the judges decide. They decide out of 860 pies, I think, were entered, which were the best ones, and in every class there's 20 classes, and the top three go through to the final day where they announce the winners. Goodness me, that, that, I mean, that is some achievement just to get into that, isn't it, really? It's a massive achievement. If you think there's one pie and you want to get onto the final table out of 800. Yeah. It's an immense achievement. Oh, you've there. been there before, haven't you? We have. So far, we've been doing it for four years, and every year, thankfully, we've had a pie in the final class. So it's an amazing achievement. And to keep getting that consistent, it just goes to show that we're doing a, a consistent And, and this, is, this is blind tasting. So it is, it, yeah. It just goes onto a white plate. Onto they a don't white know plate. where it's come from, nope. and they just rate it out of... Out of whatever. They judge it on the, the way the pie looks, the way the pie eats, the quality of the pastry, the quality of the filling, the textures, the juices, the gravies. And it literally is, it's just put on a white plate in front of the judges. They don't know who the pies are from, where they've come from, who's made them. There's not, you're not allowed to put defining marks on them. So if you sell a pie that says, I don't know, Morecambe FC pie and you have it on the top, you must serve it as a blank pie. Right. So everything is fair in the judging scenario. That is phenomenal. It is. Phenomenal, just to get to the, to the final stage. Now, tell us then what happened, this, this exciting news. Well, yeah, we, yesterday we went down and we were in class 17 and 19, we were in the final class, which is right at the end of the award, so you have the whole day to wait. And we got announced that we had third place in the football pie, and um, another football club got second place, and we took first place as the reigning champions, and we were given the championship for that one. And then in class 19, we won the Apple Bramley pie outright. And then it went on to the, some extra awards of Supreme Champion and the Best Producer. And we was announced again for the second time that we'd won the Supreme Champion for our Apple Bramley Pie. So, let, let me get this straight then. So, for the football pie, yep. we came first and third. First and third. And which one won? Uh, the Chicken Ham and Leek again. Chicken, of course. Of course. And third was? Third was Meat and Potato. Right, okay. I like both of those. Good stuff. Didn't him. <laughs> and... Uh, so that's, we've got the best football pie. We have officially, again, for the third year now, we have the best pie in football. Wow. That's brilliant. A amazing. And then I'm guessing then, you know, and all I can think of is, is he, he said Supreme Champion, so I'm thinking Crufts. This is right? true, yeah. So it's a bit the same where yeah. all the different categories of pies then are judged again. This is right. For, for the actual best whole pie, the best pie in the world. in the world, so to say. And so then, um, you've won that? And we've won that again with our apple pie for the second time. And again, it's a blind tasting table. The head judge judges that one on his own and he decides which one goes through. And he came to me after the awards and he says we tasted the apple pie, we looked at the apple pie and there was very little competition for it on the final table. And it just sailed through. So of course, we're the first company to win the Supreme Champion twice. So it's just an unbelievable achievement. Absolutely amazing. Two, two questions then that spring to mind immediately. Yep. Where can I get one of these pies from? You can buy them here. Right, OK. <laughs> and secondly, have you asked for a pay rise yet? Not yet, but I um, might have a talk with them next week and we'll see what they say. OK. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm joking aside, I know yep. that you, you know, it's a team effort with, it is, yes. with everybody in there. You, you, know, you said that to me before. It is, it is. Jackie Simpson, our pay chef, is the one who slowly made the apple pie. It's her recipe, so I'm saying it's her family recipes. And she put it in last year and it won the class the year before it came second. So I wouldn't suggest she's improved on it. I just said the judging had got a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> and it's an amazing thing. And it is, anything we do in the kitchen is produced by all the team. It's yeah. no single individual in there. Any ideas we come up with, we have brainstorming sessions, we tear them around, like our pork iron brew and chilli pie. Well, it's, I was going to ask you about that. I yeah. Because I want to put my name down for one of those tomorrow. I'm saying that yeah. now. I, you know, I'll put my name down for one of those. I will gladly buy one of those because it sounds intriguing. It is. It's really interesting and you'll be amazed how good it tastes. We've, we're going to put 100 out tomorrow to get the general feedback. It's a little bit more pricey to make than a normal pie because of the way we've had to go around getting the iron brew flavour and of course ingredients in there are a little bit more than a meat and potato yeah. but we're going to sell it at the same price tomorrow and see what the feedback is but I think the majority of people are going to be pleasantly surprised at how nice this pie is. I can't wait, I can't wait. No. Listen, congratulations, uh, honestly a phenomenal achievement I know one 
the, you know, it may sound a bit cheesy, but the, you know, the whole town will be proud of this oh, because it, it puts so. us on the map. It yes, does. it does, and I'm yeah. very proud to do it for Morecambe Football Club. And it's with the likes of Altham's, who are new directors, with their help, we can do these kind of things and we can push the name Morecambe, not just the football club, but the name of Morecambe forward and, like you say, put Morecambe FC on the map. Well, keep doing what you're doing and uh, thanks for the pies. Pleasure. <laughs>